Hey guys, it's for then today. I've come up with a really delicious chocolate frosting recipe. This is perfect for cakes because it has a perfect consistency and we're going to be making this with all purpose flour. And the consistency of this frosting is really nice that it stays really really stiff. For making it, we'll need half a cup of sugar. Into it, we're going to add in 2 tablespoons of all purpose flour and half a cup of milk. And now we have to mix it up really well and dissolve all the sugar and even the all-purpose flour. You don't need any lumps of the all-purpose flour. You need to dissolve everything really well and make it into a smooth mixture and then keep it on top of the stove or else it'll start forming lumps really easily when it is on top of the stove. And once it has come to this nice and smooth and silky consistency like this and you don't have any more lumps, keep it on top of the stove on the lowest flame you can. And just keep mixing, keep stirring it and let it come to a thickened consistency. You need the mixture to start thickening up. So slowly just mix it up like this and eventually you'll see that the mixture starts thickening up. Keep mixing or else it's gonna form lumps. And now the mixture is thickened. Just gonna stir it for another 10 seconds and then I'll off the flame. Take it out of the stove but right while it's hot you have to add in 2 tablespoons of cocoa powder. Add that and mix it up really well. It should come to a consistency like this. And let that cool. By the time it's cooling you need to beat the butter up. I have half a cup of softened butter. Just half a cup will do. You don't need any more than half a cup. Now you need to start beating it. I'm not going to be using a hand mixer for it. You can use a spoon or a whisk. Anything will do fine. You don't need a hand beater especially. But if you do have a hand beater, you can go ahead and use the hand beater because it's going to be easier. Now I've switched to a whisk and you need to beat it until it comes to a lightened color. And now into it, we can add in the cocoa powder, all-purpose flour, the sugar and the milk mixture. So you need to completely cool the milk and the sugar mixture because if it is hot, it will melt the butter and the consistency of the frosting will not come right. You need to completely cool it and then only add in the mixture into the butter. So gradually add in the mixture and keep beating because it's milk and butter and milk and butter do not go properly. So... You need to gradually add in the mixture and keep beating like this. And once you've added in all of it, it should come to a consistency like this. You can see the consistency is really stiff and it holds its shape. You can see it's a really nice and stiff peak. The shape is still holding up and there the frosting is ready. I've changed that to a piping bag to show you how it looks when you pipe it and you can see all the lines and everything is really clean. The consistency is really stiff and it's easy to pipe also. I hope everybody tries out this recipe. It's a really nice and delicious recipe also. It's perfect for cakes, cupcakes and anything you like. Any dessert it goes really well with. And there are a lot of different designs you can try out with this recipe. I hope everybody tries it out. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and send all your feedbacks in the comment box. Thanks for watching Love Cooking. Bye bye.